Yes, welcome to this lovely presentation, Hub Identification Class, where we teach the people the health principles and the Word of God and the preparations they need to do in order to get ready for the final crisis that is coming to the world as an overwhelming surprise. Do you know that there's coming a time that there will be no buying and selling? And if that condition comes upon this world, how will we live? Well, we know that God is a merciful God. But there is a step that we need to make day by day in making sure that we protect our health by healthy foods, by the healthy medicine, and also reaching out to the people and preparing them for the soon coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our presentation today is on turmeric, and that is the common name. The scientific name is Curcuma alis matifolia. That is a liver protectant herb that we have in nature. This is the picture that we all know about turmeric. It is yellow in color. Now I want to teach you something about yellow. In every plant that you see around there that is yellow in color, it means that it has a lot of vitamin A and also <clears throat> it is helpful for the liver. You talk about the pumpkins, you talk about the purples, the oranges, all those are good for your liver. And uh, you want to know how to use it? The, uh, the, 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 the uh, the, the turmeric, most part, the part that is used is the rhizome, and that is the root. It should be dried in a, in a, not directly over the sun, either be de dehydrated or put under the shed, so that the medicinal properties are concentrated. Or we can also take it as a juice or just chew it in or as a powder or just grate it and put in warm water and then drink it uh, always. Some of the medicinal properties of this herb is, anti, uh, is that it is known as an ancient herb used for liver and blood conditions. If you have a sepsis of the blood, if you have a problem with your, um, uh, if, with your liver, maybe the fatty liver disease or any other difficulties with your blood vessels. This is a good plant to, uh, to use for the cleansing of your liver. It stimulates bowel flow and production and helps dissolve and remove sediments in the liver. Has some antiparasitic actions, especially for protozoa infestants and helps increase circulation and has strong anti-inflammatory properties. Therefore, very beneficial for arthritis, bursitis, tendonitis, etc. It helps in, in digestion, it promotes healing, and curcumin from turmeric boosts brain-derived neurotrophic factors. It is linked to improve brain function in the lower risk of brain diseases help in treating Alzheimer and depression and treats arthritis. We also know that it's anti-cancer and prevents premature aging. Now, turmeric, uh, when used alongside other remedies, is able to boost your immunity. And uh, people with Alzheimer's disease, uh, because of uh, uh, aluminum that has blocked the the brain cells or the brain, uh, the, the, the neuroreceptors is able to sludge it off. And uh, most of the times we use it alongside the, uh, the rosemary. You, we use it also alongside the jingo biloba, alongside the albizia, and alongside uh, uh, ginger, and also uh, coriander or cilantro to help remove the Alzheimer and depression effects. 
uh, you also want to use it for horns because uh, the horns need to be uh, to be cleansed first so turmeric is antiseptic and then after that you must find something that is going to dry dry it out if it is oozing out and uh, turmeric is one of the best remedies to go you just take four tablespoons of the powder in half a glass of uh, of honey raw honey should be warmed a little bit and then just start in and if you apply that on the wound it will be able to heal the wound very fast the gangrenous wounds the papules the carbuncles the um, and also the fresh wounds uh, turmeric is one of the things to go if someone is having coughs that are persistent uh, turmeric is one of the remedies you have to use uh, you just use a four inch fresh turmeric you you blend together with a cup of uh, of pineapple and then that juice uh, you add a pinch of salt himalayan salt and then drink it in to break out a dry cough or a cough that produces a lot of mucus and that will be able to help you to restore your system remember that we are using all this alongside the eight laws of health and that is making sure that you are exercising enough in the morning make sure that you exercise you walk and the best exercise is walking because walking helps your system the whole body system to be activated you have to be drinking enough water plenty of water if you wake up in the morning drink drink two glasses of warm water you can add some lemon in it or some turmeric in it and that will be able to activate the good bio, uh, biotic factors in your system and also lower the uh, the, the pressure in the cells and also normalize your sugar and then you also have to eat properly plant-based diet uh, uh, remove the processed products in your system make sure that in a day you take vegetables and fruits to help with the balancing uh, to help with the uh, with the balancing of the cholesterol in your GIT another thing make sure that you have proper rest reach out unto the people be in the sun and have temperance eliminate all those things that are good that are destroying your health most people do not know that uh, drinking alcohol destroys their health most people also do not know that uh, that eating the cold sodas even the warm sodas whichever it is the beverages affect your system and also most people do not know that using the uh, the, the refined spices like the uh, the royco the ongo the other spices that are not naturally grown and processed stimulate your system and therefore you are able to develop uh, some problems in your system other people do not know that deep frying of foods like deep frying uh, chips uh, or Irish potatoes make the system to develop a cancerous environment using good oils is also very important for us to make sure that our health is maintained well and properly Another thing is making sure that you eat in the right time and do not eat between meals. Do not drink with your meals. Drink one hour before meals and two hours after meals. Most people will crave for drinking water after the meals. Why? Because, or with their meals, because their system is craving for that. Practice this. Just drink two, uh, drink a glass of water before eating your food and after two hours after drink your food and you will never crave for drinking water with your meals most people have developed ulcers or pressure as a result of this learn to trust in god 
and learn to uh, learn to live according to the principles of the Word of God. The Bible says that uh, if you hearken diligently unto these uh, words that I speak unto you, the statutes and my commandments, therefore shall I not put the diseases that I put against the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that heals all your diseases and restores all our being. May God bless us as we think upon those things.